Okay. So, like I said, we this is a, a good document. So, if you want to go through through that. So, yeah, this is a good document that if you want to go through that. So, we're going to go through. Someone asked about yeah, um, what is Kukumba, Kukumba is also written in Gekin. Gekin is a, like English-like language. So you're going to see that when you go through everything in, in detail. So uh, also they ask about IntelliJ, it's an ID, I've explained that. So now, so setting up the environment now, we got our IntelliJ right now. So we're going to create a new one again. So new project. So so the ID we said com dot git. So sky blue. Okay, so then I click on next. So that okay. So I've explained this. So if I want that to be replaced, I do that. So let's say okay, I want it to open in a new window. So I want it to a new window. Okay, so this is my file that I've just created. And that's my pawn that I've created. So, and it's got that. Okay, that's it. So, next one, what I need to do is to add some references, like what the C sharp is going to call reference to. So, inside my pawn, I need some dependencies that we need to use. So, that is the code I sent to you. So, so which so that is the code I sent to you. I'm, I've explained this before. I'm going to explain that again. So our group ID is what you can see what we added before. That is the group ID, and also Actfad um, ID. It's also that which is your project ID. So it's your project, then also the version of that particular package that you are trying to build. Then also you got your properties that you want to set up for. Then you got different dependencies that we want to do. So when you added dependencies, it's You have all these dependencies actually. So what you now need to to do is to import them. So you you click on import changes, and also you could also auto import. So more of advice, just say auto import, and that does that for you. So automatically. So that might take a long while because it's going to import all these red ones. So and after it has finished, then it should be black. So then why doing that, we continue on what we're doing. So we come back to, to this. So I'll say, yeah, so that is what you're having. You have here, say, okay, choose, and you don't need to do that again. So you don't need to use this code. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work because of versioning issue. So, but uh, the one I sent to you is the latest version, which does work. So, you can you can use that. It's similar to this. So, then the next one is you add your you add your Cucumber for Java plugin to IntelliJ. I've done that one before. We so you click on reference. 
you click on plugin, search for Cucumber, and that. So I've already installed it, but if you, so you click on install. One minute, I've got question. So uh, one question is, so if you are using uh, Windows, so if you're using Windows, you might not see this. You may not see this in Windows. You will see it on File. You click on File and you will see Settings. Then you click on Settings. File and Settings. So I think that might be the same thing that the guy wrote. Yeah. No, it's not even. Yeah. So File, Settings, Plugin. Yeah. So that's what you, you will see on Windows. But if you're using. Uh, Apple computer, then you click on that. So, okay. So once you click on file settings, you you click on plugin, then you search, then you install. So, so the next one, yeah, I think now you can see this is downloaded now. So now the next one that you need to do is your project folder. So they've highlighted just one that you're going to need here. So we're going to go through them one after the other. So what you need to do first is right click on Java and click on package, new, then package. Then you create a folder step Definition. So you do the same thing also. You create new folder package. You call it um, page object. Okay. Then on that test. Now you create another folder, which is directory. We call that resources. So, but resources. After that, you need to right click, and you make that folder resource root. So I'll do that one again. I'm not sure that that is written here. So okay, it's not. But I'll do that again. So you you click on test new directory and you write resources, right? So that create that for you. Don't put it under Java. You will need to put it under test. If you put it under Java, you need to you can drag it to the top. So then, after that, you right click on that resources and make directory as. So you want to make it your resource root, and that's it. So this will happen. It changes that to a different icon. So then you right click on that resource folder and you click on directory and then so you put features. So one thing you will see here is when you right click on Java and you click on new, you don't see directory, you only see package. But if you go to the resource, you could create your directory. So don't miss that up. So, oh, I couldn't find my directory. So at the Java level, you create your package. Then when you have your resource, you can create your folder. So, so that is your 
structure so that should look like something like that so without these ones so you have your java step definition so it doesn't matter so i've written mine fully then also you have resource and you have features so now we need to now create some uh, okay test ng okay so let's do some test ng test ng is used for uh, reporting and also to run your test so it's, it's also a very good tool so let's do that so at the top of your project click on the top the and right click and new this time you want to create a file you create file test ng dot and this time around it's xml so then you copy that i'm going to send that across to everyone i think i got it somewhere So, paste that. So, okay. So that is that. You paste that, and it's showing that you haven't got a runner, right? So you still need to create a runner. So, on that Java click on new click on package call it runner runners okay so now you need to create another class called runner class so that is not Uh, it's not here. Hold on. I think maybe it's down. Yes, yeah, that is down. down. So, yeah. Okay. Let's try to follow this step anyway, but I doubt the first thing. Okay. So we've created our Java um, packages, page object, runner, step definition, and we created our feature files. So and also we created the pawn is automatically created for us. For yeah, and we've added other parts of the pawn that we sent. So everything is, and also we've checked in uh, to automatically import the dependencies and we created our test ng xml so on that is still showing red because we haven't got our test runner so we still need to create that so then okay the next one is your feature files Feature files, someone asks about what is Cucumba and everything. So now you need to create your feature files, which is goes into the feature. Right click, new file. So last time I asked you know, the manual guys to write a step about as in login to give reach and everything. So we're going to use that at this point. So let's say I'm going to log in login dot feature or maybe a better one registration dot feature 
So I want to create, I want to automate the registration page. So that is that. If, when you create that, if watch the logo is not that, it's not green, then you've not actually mapped or um, plugged in your Cucumba with IntelliJ. You should, you should have that green logo. So, yeah. So now, the next thing for you to do is to start writing your feature. The first thing that comes, we're going to talk about this in great detail later. So feature, what do you want to write about registration? I want to automate my registration. And um, as a user of if it now one to register so so that I can use the site. So this is just like English descriptions of that. You don't you might not need this at all, but sometimes it's a good practice to put what that feature means. Then after that you start with your scenario. So what am I testing? Valid registration. So then you start with your giving clause. Giving I am on dev dot. That is what you want to do. So given you are or given I, depending on what you want to say, I navigate to, that's another way to say, given I navigate to the URL, or you can as well just say, so that is another way. So then I go to the registration page. Some people will say, and I click, and I click, and I click. Sometimes you can wrap that up into your code. So then also, and I fill all the registration data. So then I should be able to register. So that, these are your steps. These are your feature steps. So what you now need to do is to generate a code for these particular steps. So your code that uh, translates this line of code into Java, it's called step definition. So you can see when I put my mouse on this, I have this bob, which is like intelligence. Uh, then I click on that. If it, click on that, you see generate step definition or generate all step definition. So you can click on that one and you can generate the step definition for that particular line. So that is one way of generating it. So you can now, okay, where do I want to generate the step definition? I want to generate it. So it's bringing the so I want it to be in my step definition. So I want it to be my step definition. Then what is the, so the is step definition. So then you can create, what do I call it? 
Okay. Registration steps. Okay. So registration steps. So that is what I've just got it now. So and Java. Okay, doesn't even need file extension. Okay, cool. Okay, because it's already been mapped as file type. So okay, cool. Then you click on OK. So and that is here automatically. So now you have your red line here. Yeah? So it's saying that that is doesn't resolve to anything. So what you need to do is to add that particular library. So one thing that you can do is sometimes it's gone. So you press Alt Enter. Panel resolve or center. No, yeah, sorry. Alt enter. So alt enter. So when you do that, you have at maybe dependencies. So I've got one question. So, Question. Okay. On creating new project, I can see as I see main. Undo the question later, so I'll need to resolve this. Let's go. Add maybe dependencies. Yes, let's go. Um, One minute. So, okay, I'll do that one later. Let's go through this first. So, the next one. So, I'll create, generate other steps for this one. Registration. So I need to create the same one for that place. So delete. So I don't need double. So I don't need to. Okay. No problem. So what's going to happen? I'm going to show another way to to go through this. So we created one. So we just carry on. I will do a quick summary at the at the end. So on how to go through it. So the next one that we're going to do is our runner, I believe. So, so we've done that. So it's going to be the runner. Yeah. So the runner. So I'll just copy that. So.
So we're going to create our runner. So and that right click on the runner new that is going to be Java class. So before I do that in my IntelliJ I call it test runner. So I need to put that so create test runner new Java class test runner. Okay. So then I paste what I've got here into that place. So you need to be careful when you're pasting this right now. So okay, that test runner is test runner. That's fine. So that will be fine. So I can I can copy that. And paste it, replace it with this. Okay. So that is fine. Then, so this is what's going to happen. Then you need to now install. Yeah, MVN install. You go open your MVN. So, Where did I put that? Okay, that's a fire phone. Okay, so Okay, cool. So now I can do MVN install. Brilliant. So now this is where the fonts begins. So, so you need to be able to read the line of code and understand what the issue is. So the first issue that we're going to encounter here is compilation failure and it's saying that registration step so cannot find symbol method given I think yeah that is expected so okay
see. Okay, I think yeah, that's it. Let's use a different method, which I think will be better. So now I just, let's say, okay, let me just, I think the easiest approach is that. So if, just to retrace our step back again, so I'll delete that. Okay. So that is gone. So I'll delete that one. So then do the Maven install. Okay. So this might be the you know another approach actually. So Maven install is going to now create that for you, say I cannot implement missing steps. So it's not generating that for you. So what you now need to do now is to create that particular class registration steps. So in my Maven, I've got this. So I can create, copy that. And paste it in my code. So. So I think it's even you can I think you can you can click on on if that one appears or so you can click on that and say import class. That should be the right approach. So that added the import in at the top. So that's what you have in there. So I think that approach is better. So that creates that for you and you put it in, in that one. So and now what you need to do from here is now you create your step. We're going to do that next uh, in the next class. So you create your step to go through on navigation, to go through registration, but you already got your step definition created. You can see now they are not showing in orange again. So, and you can now right click on them and go to go to step and go to implementation. So it links it to that particular one. So if we go back again and say which line of code reps is this one, I should register, right click, go to, and uh, you say implementation. So you can see that is highlighted for you. So that is that. So and the next one that you need to do is we're not going to go through this after or before hook. Mm. So, okay, we don't. Okay. 
So that's what we're going to do today. So and that is kind of setting up everything from beginning to the end. So what you could do now, we're going to run it. So let's try to run it. So we're going to run it. There are two ways to run it. There are two ways to run it. So you could click on view, choose windows. And for people that say, I couldn't see my project, you can click on project, that project windows appear. So, and that is the, so for, you could also go to Maven Projects. So you click on Maven Projects, that opens there. Then you see life cycle. So all this was wrong. So you can clean your build, you can validate, compile, or test. So the same way also you do in C Sharp that you say on um, clean build or some, I mean, that's the same thing also. You clean the build, you see your terminal opened, and then if you're successful, you say successful, and also you can click on test. Oh, so that is testing, so it's, so also it's going to say, okay, you've not actually implemented some other steps, so you got that. So basically that's what you have. So the same way also, you can also write them in Maven and say, so. say Maven clean. or Maven test that runs your test. Another one also is, okay, I'll quickly go through this. So when I say Maven clean, So this will happen, I think, if you are observant, you see there's a target folder here, which the Maven clean will remove. So if I do the test again, you're going to see the folder comes back again. So see. So that folder contains other folders, so which I'm going to explain maybe next week on each one of them. So now you could also say verify. So that so that creates a report for you. And for those that also don't want to use the terminal. Also, there's a terminal in IntelliJ. You can click on view and say to terminal. So that bring your terminal into IntelliJ. So I can say maybe in verify. Verify. I know, I know it's boring. So just bear with me. <laughs> so yeah, so that verifies everything. So. Then from here, you have your report created, so you can go to Cucumba report, and I can do that quickly. So, So you have your report created, so you can, let's say, open that. So you have your report, um, which is, we have only one feature file, and it's not defined. So, and your step, there's no step already written for them. So next week, you're going to go through the step, and this is what we've written. So, yeah. So next week, you're going to start writing the steps and everything. So that is that. So what's going to happen like try to lay your hands upon it so to see 
or if you can create it from scratch. And if not, then we'll also look at it together. So any question? In in summary, in summary, I'll tell you what we've done. First thing, we created our project, five new projects. Then you continue and you put next and you put your group com dot and you put your actifier ID testing one two three four and you click on okay you click on next finish and I'll open that as a new project then that is that so then I click new package step definition then create another new package for my page object we're going to use that later So also create another package for my runner. So then I created new folder, new file for test ng. Then I pasted the test ng one, so which let's see. So let me just copy from here yeah, test ng. Then also I've got my runner, which I can now create for the runner here. Not this one. Runner. So we created our runner class. New class test runner so so because my runner is in the same I can just paste it like that so it's showing cucumber and everything because it's going to be so my pawn I need to go to my pawn and import everything so my pawn is the different so also we created um, we imported our pawn the dependencies on the pawn so okay I won't copy I will just copy the dependencies so on the form. So and I said you need to say auto import or you say import changes. So I would say just auto import and that should yeah, that is fine. And also my pawn is yeah, it's fine. Then after that also I'll Create your feature files. So we created registration dot feature. 
So we say feature registration and on and on like that. So I don't want to waste. I'll just copy from here. Okay, so this is wrong. It's not supposed to be there. So, uh, so I just copy and paste that. So that's my feature files. So, but I actually put it in the step definition, which is wrong, and I said, okay. I need to create a new directory and I call it um, resources. So what I need to do in that is to make it my resource root, then create a new directory. I call it feature. So then normally I should create a new one and put the feature file there. But I've created this, I can drag it into this one. So yeah, I want to do that. So yeah, that is that. So now, since that is that, so I can create my step definition. I said there are two ways to do that. So we try a different approach, but that didn't work. So what we're going to do is uh, now we run the Maven. So I'll go to CD. So that is the one CD testing. So Maven install. Okay, so now you have this line of code. So you you can implement missing steps. You copy those ones that are missing, and you create your step definition. So I call it registration steps. Oh, okay, sorry, that should be delete. Yeah. So, just don't to confuse you, this okay, should be Java class. So, then, is that here? Yeah. So, that is bringing that for me. I press on Alt Enter, and that is bringing up also this one, Alt Enter. That's bringing to a select pen to first one, Alt Enter, and that. Then also Alt Enter. So that is that. So that is everything that we've done in this. So. So that's everything that we've done. Then also, I now view the terminal. I can now say Mervin, yeah, maybe test. So that runs my test. So which is going to have a target folder right now after it's finished. Cool, that's that. So inside my target folder, I have my report, the Kumba report. And you can see the Kumba report hasn't got uh, the advanced report. 
but if I do Maven verify that comes into play. So and I said also the Maven line of code that you are writing there, you can also run it from the Maven project. You click on view Maven project that comes up, then you go to life cycle and you can just double click. So and that is done. So yeah, the advance comes in and on the advance you see your XML report, which should look like the one we've we've seen here. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, that's everything as at the one that we've done today. So next week we look again. We start from what exactly is BDD what is a feature file, what a feature file to entails, then we move from there. Any question? At assignment, now you need to write your feature file for login and also for valid login, valid in, um, registration, um, valid login, invalid registration, and also invalid login, and also write a feature file for posting and add. So those three, valid post and add, valid login, and also invalid registration, or if you can do invalid login also. So that, um, those are the assignments. So write your feature files for them and try to map them with your step definition you don't need to put any Selenium code inside. So that's where we're going to start from next week. All right, thanks.